Okay, let's find the E of the cell here. From the standard reduction potential. So what you do is if, uh, on your paper, just write out the reduction, uh, the redox half reactions. So you say, here's one. You don't have to totally balance it if you don't want to for what they're asking you to do. So there's one. The other one is Cl2 plus 2, oh, goes to 2 Cl minus. So I have two electrons here. Don't totally need that. Really what you need is that table in the text. And so you go to 20.1, which will be on the back of your exam. And the numbers you need, so you look up the first one, uh, the Cl. For this uh, reduction, what is the plus? For this reduction is 1.358 volts. Cool so far? However, this one, it's oxidation, it's listed backwards in the table. So in the table, I'll just kind of put in scratch paper over here, it says uh, plus 0 0.771 volts. So because I flipped the reaction from the table, I'm going to flip the sign. So it is negative 0 0.771 volts. And now I just straight add it. Uh, so that's going to turn out to be 0 0.587. 0 0.587. And this reaction, as is, is spontaneous because this is positive. And this is the overall E cell for this reaction. Um, in the original equation, there was 2 on the Fe2 plus and 2 in front of There's 2 Fe2 pluses. And so you factor those out? Uh, for this question, it's not going to matter. Okay. However, you're right. Because there's two electrons here, I have to multiply this by 2 okay. to get these electrons to cancel. Because of that, you're right, and the overall reaction is going to be 2 ferrous, and there's going to be 2 ferrous. Okay, but they don't matter. It's not, gonna, not for what we're doing, because if you get this number from the table, you don't have to multiply it by 2. Okay. Uh, so it doesn't matter for us. It would matter if I said by, write the overall reaction. It would matter. If you were doing a different calculation where you need like n, which is the moles of electron transferred, in this case 2. So it wouldn't matter in those cases. But for this one where you're just adding half reactions, uh, it's fun maybe, but, but that's about it. Okay. Yes? Um, for this, yeah. why, okay, since let's say we were balancing it, we multiply oxidation reaction by 2. Yes. Why wouldn't we multiply the E cell by 2 also like if it is a Hess's law when we add it? Like when we multiply the equation right. by 2? You're by totally delta right. A. For Hess's law, delta H, delta G, every other thermodynamic value possible, you do multiply. So why is uh, E cell so special? E cell, in this case, is just a different situation. So E cell here, it does not matter that this happens once, or twice in this case, or a billion times. It's going to have the same voltage potential. There are other half reactions that you would multiply that we're just not seeing because we're not doing it in our class. Uh, in our text, there's a little are you wondering <laughs> that to ask, answers that question. Basically, if you have to derive one of these from first principle, what's called elementary equations, if you remember your simultaneous equations from 2A, probably, maybe not. But if you have to derive this from what's called from elementary reactions, then you do multiply E cell. But once you get the overall E cell set for your reaction, there's no more multiplication. Again, because you're going to have this voltage no matter how many times the reaction happens. Uh, it's going to have the same potential between, say, the positive and the negative pole.